You must not fear them, for the Lord your God himself fights for you. In Deuteronomy 3.22, as we're at the halfway point in our 40-day study, it seems like a command where before it felt more like a reminder. Don't be afraid. Do not fear. Fear not, he says. But here he says you must not be afraid. It's also one of the first times we see a because tied to a promise that <clears throat> is also very imperative. Do not be afraid because the Lord God himself fights for you. And I just had a couple of thoughts as I went through that this morning, right? He's fighting for you. So remember, you're not alone. You don't have to depend on yourselves. You don't have to depend on others, flawed humans who you feel like maybe can't be depended on. You don't have to wonder if it's going to be fought. You don't have to earn this defense, this protection. You don't have to pay it back. You could never. God is fighting for you. Why is he fighting for you? Because he said he would fight for you. And he is faithful. Wow, we need to remember his faithfulness. Because his name is going to be made great. In this case, it's going to be made a fearsome name among all the peoples who Israel are about to go and fight. He is setting that up beforehand. Has been since before they even understood what was going on. Right? Why is he fighting for them? Because he has a plan for all of humanity and our frailness is not going to get in the way of that. He is faithful. He is righteous, right? That's why he's going to fight for us. He's going to fight for us because he loves us. So that fear that wants to come when we're faced with an impossible situation, it is without merit, without reason because he will fight for us that is something that just hit me so hard this morning and something I just want us to be thinking about as we go through our day anytime that fear starts to come into the front of our mind that we can push it back with these reminders I don't have to be afraid in fact I am told not to be afraid because the Lord God himself is fighting for me because he is faithful, because he loves me, because he is great. He is my protector. He is my defender. And let those thoughts just go over and over and over and take the place of the fear of whatever it is that's coming at you today.